everybody now. So once again, you are all welcome to this semester. You are welcome to this uh, platform. This is uh, MJ232 Elementary Differential Equation. On the course, we will be talking about so many topics, like I mentioned the other time. One of the first parts of the course will be talking about introduction. We'll be talking about introduction of the nature of differential equation, method of solving differential equation, first order differential equation, linear differential equation. We'll be talking about differential of the first order, but not first degree. Then we'll also be talking about the application. Then we'll be talking about the higher, higher of linear differential equations method of the, uh, determine coefficient, underdetermine coefficient, and method of variation of We'll be talking about that. Now, let's me sh quickly share my screen, then we kick starts. If you have any question, please put it on the chat. So in this case, we have this, uh, but I, so when we say differential equation, what comes to your mind? Differential equation. How do we define differential equation? What comes to your mind? Anybody? Differential equation. So under the differential equation, so many things are involved. But uh, for today, let's just start with this. Anytime you have differential equation, there are so many things with ordinary differential equation. Let's let me write some things down. So another differential equation we can write by saying. Can you see my can you see my screen? If you can say just say yes. Yes, yes, we can see. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you. So let me give us this equation. Look at this equation. If I ask you to determine which of the following are ordinary differential equation, which of the following? Number one. I have d square y, the x squared, plus 3, the y, the x, plus 2y equals to 0. Number 2, I have dice z, the x equals to z, plus x, dz, the y. You can see the way I put them is different. The first one is called number one. Let's write equation one is an ordinary. is an ordinary differential equation. Let me use this one as equation, ordinary differential equation, because it contains Because it contains only because it contains only ordinary no partial derivative. Now, number two 
is a partial differential is a partial differential equation because it contains because it contains partial derivative. Now let's look at this. It contains partial derivative and it also accommodates different variables. You, you can differentiate with respect to Z, you can differentiate with respect to X. I'm talking about this. But this particular, the first one, you can only differentiate with respect to x, the y ds. That's what we have, the y dx. It accommodates different variables, and that you can see the difference between the two. Because the exam can come that said, OK, which of the following are ordinary differential equation? So we have idea of how it works. Then ordinary differential equation can also be in this form. Look at this. I can also give you this. Roman figure one, I can say sy prime plus y equals to three. It's the same thing as x dy dx plus y equals to three. Don't forget. <clears throat> what is what we call it? Is it differential equation or not? Then we can also have y prime prime. If if I say y prime, it simply means you differentiate once. If I say y prime prime, it simply means you differentiate twice. If I put it as three, it simply means you differentiate three times. If I say y prime prime plus two y prime prime raised to power two plus y prime is equals to cos x. So if I want to write this one, it's the same thing as d three y d s q plus two d square y the x squared or squared plus the y the x equals to cos x. Now, what is this is saying? The rest of our two outside is saying is after you differentiate this thing, let's say after our differentiation, you differentiate it two times, you now have two x. It simply means you have to square that two x. That is the difference. So take note of that. Then, if you now have this Roman figure one is ordinary differential, ordinary differential equation, ODE. Roman figure two is also ordinary differential, ODE. Now, in case I have the last, let's say Roman figure three, if I have this one, d square z the s squared plus the square z the y squared equals to s squared plus y x squared plus y 
So who, can we type it on the chat? What do you think this one will be? Is it partial or, or, or ODE? Type it on the chat. Put it on the chat. Let's quickly let's see. Put it on the chat. Yes, I can see. A is saying partial differential. Okay, who else support? If you support, say yes, yes, yes. If you if you are not in support, say no. Okay, Kunle say no. Other say yes. Okay, you say no. Okay. Now, for those of us that say no, almost yeah, you said no. Does it mean what is it? Is it partial or no partial? You said no. Okay, but I just explained to you. Here is it. Look at this. Roman equation two here. I'm not writing with style. I'm just giving you the way you're supposed to write it mathematically. This is partial differential equation. This is the one we call total. This is when you have this, the y, the x, it simply means ordinary differential equation. It's not the same thing as the y, the x. They are different. Please take note of that. This is partial, while this is ordinary differential equation. I hope that is clear. So you have you you can ask any question on this. They can ask you to tell us whether it is ordinary differential equation or not. And as I, I just explained it to you now. No, second order differential, it is different. Don't miss it together. Second order differential. This is second order, but it's still partial. All, what we are saying is determine whether it's ordinary differential or partial differential. We are not yet on whether second order. We are not yet on order or degree. Please take note of that. Whether it's order or not is different. When we get to the one of order, we are still on classification. When we get to the order, you will know. Because the, for the order, I will still need to define that's where we are moving to. But we, in this case now, we are just, we need to understand what you want to find the order. Is that okay? You need to understand the one you want to find the order before you said, okay, this is of order two, this is degree one, this is degree two. Please take note of that. So when we get to the order, we will know. Okay, now let's go to the order for the purpose of everyone so that you won't confuse yourself. Let's define order. What do we mean by order? And what do we mean by degree? Define order for an ordinary when you see ODE, it simply means ordinary differential equation. ODE means ordinary differential equation. Because of our time, I may not be able to write all the full time. So let's look at the definition. The definition says the order of a differential of a differential equation is the order of the highest, is the order of the highest derivative. appearing in the 
equation. Please take note of this. Underline it. The order of the differential equation is the order of the highest derivative appearing in the equation. Okay, now let's look at degree. Degree for an ODE, let's look at it. Degree is quite different. So when we have degree, we, we talk about if and ODE, ordinary differential equation, can be written as a polynomial. Polynomial in the unknown. function and it is derivative then Then its degree is the power to which the highest Other derivative is race. Now, let's look at the example before, before we, we talk more about it. So when we are talking about derivatives, what do we mean? Let's look at the example. Okay, look at the following equation A. We have y prime prime minus 5xy prime equals to exponential s plus 1. B, y prime 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 minus 5xy prime equals to 1 then c or you can also put this one equals to exponential plus one. C, we have y minus 5xy prime equals to exponential s plus one. Then we have d. y minus 5x y prime all squared equals to e x plus one. So then we have e 
y prime prime all raised to power two plus y prime raised to power three plus three y equals to x squared. So if, let's look at this one too. Y minus five X Y prime all this to power four. Equals to E S plus one. Now let's look at it one after the other. So, if you look at it one after the other, what is the degree? Or what is order? Let's start with order. The order definition says, yeah. You want to say something? A second order. The first, first degree. The first one says what? First one, second order, first degree. Okay, let's look at it together. First order. Uh -huh. You said how many degree? For second order for degree. Okay, second order. First degree. Okay, let's get it right. Let's go back to the definition. The definition says, look at what I did here. Let me explain from here. Look at this. I told you, the, this is the first derivative. This is the first derivative, second derivative, and third derivative. That is, first derivative means differentiate it once. Second derivative means differentiate it twice. Why third derivative means differentiate it three times. So, and the definition says, the order of the differential equation is the order of the highest derivative appearing in the equation. Am I communicating now? So, if you know that what is the highest in this case will be the highest prime that we have here is what? Second derivative. We have first derivative, but is the second. Now, the second one says degree of, for the degree, it says when you have a polynomial, polynomial means is more than two degree. We have a quadratic, we have polynomial. So in this case, it said if an Ordinary differential equation can be written as a polynomial. A, the unknown function and its derivative, then its degree is the power. Take note of that. Is the power to which is the power to which that derivative is raised. They are not saying is the power the derivative, but they are talking about the power the derivative is raised. Please don't forget that. So now in this case, what is the power of this derivative for the first one? Yes. 
first one. Why is it one? Let's rewrite it. Look at it. Let's rewrite it. It's just like D. The three Y. The S Q plus. So the remaining one is what? The three Y D is minus what? Minus five X the Y the X equals to exponential X plus one. So you discover that the the all the power here is one. All the power here is one. Am I communicating? Yes, sir. So it's one. So that's why it is false degree. Now let's look at the second one. What is the order of the second one? Third order, first degree. Third order, first degree. First degree. The second, the third one. First order, first degree. First order, first degree. The last, the next one. First order, second one. degree. First is order, what? second degree. First, First order, second degree. Order and second degree. Okay. The last, the second to the last one. Second order, second degree. Are you sure? Second order, first degree. Aha. Second order. How many degree? First degree. Oh, okay. When you open the brackets, what do you have here? First order, first degree. How many? Three. So what is the degree now? Three. So we have how many order? Second order. Second order, third uh -huh. degree. How many degree? Third. Second. Is, okay. Is it first or second? Second. Tell us why is it second? Uh, you said uh, the power of which the derivative. Okay. Is the power of the of the derivative, sir. Okay. <coughs> okay. What happened to the power of derivative? The the divination for degree or now, sir. Let me explain to you. Second order. First order. Third degree. Is it third degree or first yes, degree? Yes, Third degree. Third. Third. This particular one. Let's go back to the definition so that you can get it right. He said, unknown function, right? Unknown function and its derivative. Then the degree is the power 
to which the highest order to which the highest order derivative is raised. Highest order derivative here is what? Second. Second. Yes. So don't be deceived with the third. Uh -huh. Because the highest derivative we have here is second, second derivative. Yes. So when you are working, you have to open your eyes. Don't be deceived by the figure. Is that okay? So it's still second degree. You have to study your derivative and know which power does it carry. The last one. First degree. Fourth order. Okay. Fourth degree. Fourth is order. It, which of them is the first? First degree. Uh -huh. Fourth order. Okay. I think order come first. Then we're not talking about degree. What is the order? Uh, which is which one is the order? The order first, is the highest degree. Uh -huh. uh, first, first what? First order. Uh -huh. Take note of that. First order Sorry. and fourth degree. degree. Any question, please. Somebody is lost. Me too, I'm lost. I'm lost here. Okay. Computer science. I'm not from here. Infotech group. Okay. Okay. How many of us lost? <laughs> yeah, I, I can see you're lost. Okay, let me explain. Second to the last and the last. I'm lost there. Second to the last and the last. Second to the last and the last. Okay. Who again? I can see me too, me too, me too. Okay. Let's go back to the definition. Let's go back to the definition. From definition, we'll be able to see. Just make sure you master the definition and you'll be able to identify. The first definition says what? Can somebody read it for us? So we can see this. So we can see it. If an OD can be written as. Could I read? Yes, please go ahead. Okay. The order of a uh, differential equation is the order of the highest derivatives are appearing in the equation. Now, you need to first of all know the highest derivative. What is derivative? If you don't know the derivative, you will lose. Now, let's go back. Now, look at the first equation that I explained here. I said, mm -hmm. when you have the y, the x, I believe you've done calculus before now. Anytime mm -hmm. you have the y, the x, it simply means first. This is what we call first derivative. When you have the square y, the x squared is called second derivative. When you have, when you have the y, the the three y, the s cube, this is called third derivative. So when they are talking about derivative, it simply means the first derivative means you differentiate once. The second derivative means you differentiate two times. The third derivative means you differentiate three times. 
Now, look at the first derivative. Look at the second. And we can also write this one by saying y prime prime. You can also write this one by saying y prime prime prime. So that is why you see here we have it in this format. Y prime prime means the, the third, the Y over the S cube plus two Y prime prime means second derivative and raised to power two. And the last one says the Y prime means the Y dx equals to cos X. So that is derivative. Now, the, the definition now says the order Please read again. The order of an, okay, go on. The order of an, of a differential equation is the order of the highest derivation appearing in the equation. Did you understand now? The order is what is the highest derivative we have is the order of that ordinary differential equation. Meaning what we have as the highest. If it's the 10, the, the y, the x raised to power 10 is the 10, order is 10. So now let's now look at the degree. Can you read the degree? Yes, sir. Right. If ODE can be written as a polynomial in the no, polynomial in the unknown, polynomial in the unknown function and its derivative, then its degree is the power to which the highest order derivative is raised. Raised means is not they are not talking about they are only saying. For example, if I have in an equation, if I have y prime raised to power three plus two plus s squared plus one equals to zero. If they ask me what is the degree here now, this is my only is derivative I have. They say they are now saying you have a polynomial function or you have a polynomial equation or you open it as a polynomial function unknown. And the y, the x inside that polynomial, what value does it raise? Now, we raise this one by what? Three. So I can boldly say the degree in this case is three. Even if this one is 10, because this is not differential equation, I can't raise, I can't say it's 10. But because I only have the y, the s raised to power three, so I will only pick the three. Am I communicating now? Now, we now move on to the equation to know the order. We all know the order says the highest power of the degree, highest derivative you have. Now, let's look at this. I have y prime prime minus five this equals to this. So if I want to separate them, the highest degree I have in this case is what? The highest degree is what? Second de degree. And the second degree I have there is first degree. Others are just ordinary very, uh, variable. So, <coughs> excuse me. So I have in this case to be what? Second degree will be, a uh, second derivative will be second order. Remember order is talking about the highest derivative. Why degree is talking about the highest race? It simply means this particular gentleman is raised to power one. This is also raised to power one because there's nothing much, right? So that is how we 
discover that. First of all, know the highest degree, then uh, know the highest derivative. Once you know your highest derivative, it will lead you to highest, it will lead you to degree. You'll be able to pick your degree that this higher derivative, does it raise to power 10? Or does it raise to power 2? For example, let's look at this one. So we have here. The last one you are talking about. Okay, let me just give you, let me as, uh, give you one question and uh, we will now look at it together so that you understand what we are saying. Look at this question. Y prime prime raised to power three minus five X raised Y prime raised to power four equals to exponential S plus one. In your charts, I want it in your charts. For those of you that are lost and those of you that find yourself, put it in the chat. What is your degree? And what is your order? Just use order to be O. Use your degree to be D. Put your value in front of each of them. Everybody do that. Just say O equals to D equals to, I will know. Okay? Just do your own. Don't copy anybody. Just do it. I only have one person. What happened to others? Are you still lost? Look at the question very well. You have y prime prime raised to power three. And you have minus five x y raised to power one raised to power four. Yes, others, can you put it on the chart? O equals to, tell us the degree. Yes, third order. Third degree, okay. Zero, order four, degree three, okay. Who is in the house that want to contribute to this? Okay. Now let's explain to ourselves. This question says, how many order do we have? It is clear, okay, okay. I can see a lot of us are getting it. The order in this case is third order. third order and third degree. Now, how do we know? Remember, I told you, order is the highest derivative. So I believe every one of us is supposed to get it. Order is highest derivative. Highest derivative you have here is what d dy or y prime is carrying. That is what I explained to you. For the volume, I think probably your network. Order is the highest derivative you have. Y degree is the power that the highest derivative raised. And I know the highest derivative I have is 3. And it's also raised by 3. For the fact that this is 4, does not make it my 
degree. Look at it. My only degree will only come from the highest power of derivative. So please take note of that. Any question? Any question? So let's take note of how to be able how to know the different sir, okay, sir. question. Sir, there's a question. Sir. Go ahead. Sir. From the examples you gave, going to example the example F, the F. Okay. We have the fourth, the fourth degree. Please, I this example F and the last one you just help us to solve uh, is somehow contradictory. I'm not getting it. Okay, let's look at example F you mentioned. Is the question is y minus five x y prime raised to power four, right? Is it the same thing equals to exponential s plus one? Is it the same? Is it this question you are talking about, please? So go up a little. Go up a little. It's written in green. This uh, is still the same. This one. No, no, no. Up, up, up a little. It's over zoom that please. I can't see. Just take it. This is A, B, C, D, E. This is supposed F. to be the F. The F, yes. This F. one. F. This one. The F, F. Yes, this one, yes, yes. The one I studied. This one that's bracket yes. four, yeah. Raise the power <laughs> it, four. Raise yes, the power yes. four is the one. So it's very simple. Y equal, Y, just write it this way. Y minus five X, the Y, the x all raised to power four equals to exponential s plus one. Right? Don't forget, derivative in this case is what? This is ordinary y. It has nothing to do with derivative. And our derivative in this case is only we have to differentiate how many times here? One time. And the same one time is now raised by the power of four. So it's not contradicting anything. <clears throat> if you look at it now, the order, go back to the definition, the order is the highest derivative. That's why I underline highest derivative. So what is the highest derivative in this case? One, just first. They now said, if you know your highest derivative, what is the power the highest derivative is being raised? That is your degree. Is it clear now? Meaning, it's now fourth degree in this scenario, then the last one is three. The last one is which one is three? The last example that you just did. Yes. yes. The first order, the, the example that I gave, what is the degree? What is the order? So I did that order third degree. You said? That order third degree, the last example that you gave us. Yes. Me. This one is third degree, because you have third order, which is highest derivative, and the highest derivative carry is raised to power three, and it make it a degree, raised to power three. For the fact that you have four here does not make it the degree four. Why? Because it's not the highest derivative. Do you get it now? 
Yes, okay. Fine. Okay. Okay, sir. My question is, sir, um, that last example that we gave us, the, the one with third order third degree. So what about the second one, five X uh Y prime? Four or four? Five X what see what is concerning you now is which one is my highest derivative? Let's go back to the definition. The highest derivative appearing in the equation is your order. Do you believe that one? Yes, sir. Now, do you now believe the statement here that says, after you have a polynomial, polynomial means raised to power 3, raised to power 4, raised to power 5, right? They now said, the degree is the power to which the highest order derivative is raised. Highest order derivative is raised. Now, if you now look at this, which one is, we have y raised to uh, y prime 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 on three places, and we have y prime. Which one is the highest order? Sir, it's y prime prime prime. Good. And y prime 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 is the highest order. Based on this definition, they now said the power to which the highest order derivative is raised. What is the power is raised? Even if this Three. one is Three. 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 if this one is true, you will see the higher the degree here is still two. Forget about the number of four. Because mm -hmm. four mm -hmm. is only the y, the s. Okay. Do you get it? I get it. Yes, sir. I get it, sir. Uh -huh. So because it's only the y, yes. But if this one, for example, let's say we don't even have anything here. The degree in this case is one. You cannot go and pick four. Because we have four. No, you only pick one. Am I communicating now? Yes, sir. Okay. Guys, welcome to differential equation. We will enjoy ourselves better. And uh, I have another class uh, after your own class. We are here today now. We're able to identify what is order degree, what is uh, when they are giving you the order, and when they ask you to identify by degree, which one are they talking about? You are able to identify the two. So I will encourage you, don't miss the class next class because we are moving towards the differential equation. We're going to start solving the problem. Yes, any other question?